So Ethereum's broke, broken out of its falling wedge pattern and it seems to be heading higher. So before we actually discuss the, the ramifications of this breakout, I just want to direct your attention to the FX Red YouTube channel. If you enjoy the content that we put out, just make sure to hit the subscribe button and click on the bell icon. And if you like what I do, you can follow me on Twitter at Mangeko with a zero at the end. So I've been, I've been uh, talking about this falling wedge pattern for, I think, since last Tuesday. And things have been going uh, pretty good for Ethereum as it bounced exactly uh, right uh, after retesting the 70.5 refreshment level here at $3,780. And since then, it's not just produced a higher high above this previous high at the previous high at 4,030. It's also broken above the declining trend line here of the falling wedge. So the for this bullish outlook to persist, I want I want Ethereum to retrace down here uh, to supported by this 3,912 support line and then continuous ascent higher. Uh, but the, the theoretical target for Ethereum, which predicts 16% upswing from the point of breakout, uh, puts the target at 4,533, so roughly $4,500. But for Ethereum to attain this particular target, it needs to it needs to clear this approximately equal high uh, in terms of the bodies. Th there was quite a bit of consolidation that took place here at four thousand one fifty five. So it'll be it'll so th th this target is only attainable if Ethereum overcomes this resistance level at four thousand one hundred fifty five. Again, uh, let me just summarize this. Ethereum needs to hold above three thousand nine hundred twelve support level or at least it should not produce a lower low below the 70.5 retracement level here at 3,780. As long as it stays above this level and it closes above 4,155, there's a good chance it's gonna reach 4,500 theoretical target. So from uh, the bullish perspective, things are looking good. If uh, the buyers continue, uh, they're continue buying uh, Ethereum or like if the buying pressure continues to persist, right? There's a good chance Ethereum is gonna collect liquidity resting above 4,788, uh, retest its all time high at 4,868 and perhaps even uh, set up a new one at the 5,000 psychological level. The 5,000 level has been like so close to Ethereum yet unattainable. So it'll be interesting to see how this breakout develops going forward. Again, uh, if you enjoyed this, uh, video session, uh, just make sure to like, comment, and subscribe.